Hi, in this video we are going to talk about some count functions. These are count, count a, count blank, count if and then we will see how to use permutation and combination. So first function is count function. So suppose this is my data, dummy data. Here I have written date, then a number and then a decimal number, then a plain text, then a boolean expression, a boolean value and then a error message. So these are type of values that can uh, we can put inside a cell, right? So a count function will tell you how many cells contain number as a value. So as you can see, a date uh, is a combination of number. Then we have 19, which is a number. Then this decimal value is also a number. But other than uh, these three values, there is no other uh, cell that contains any kind of number, right? This is a text, this is a boolean and this is error message. So if I use count function for this particular cell range, what will happen is Excel will give me the total number of cell that contains number only or number as the input. So suppose here in this cell, if I type my function as equals to count and then if I select my cell range as this one and close the bracket and hit enter, so Excel will give me the result as 3. Why? Because it is counting only those cells that contains number which are first three cells. So you can also say that, that we don't know whether it's this three is for these three cells or below three cells. So let me do one thing. I will just give the cell ranges these three texts. So what will happen? So here in this cell, if I again type count function and now if I provide cell reference as these three value which contains a text, a boolean and an error message. So what would be the answer that we can expect? It could be 3 and if it is not counting them, then it should be 0, right? So the answer is coming out to be 0. It means count function is only counting those cells which contains number. Now how to count those cells which contain text also? So there is a function which is count A. So count A is a function which will count any cell which is non-empty. Whether it contains a number or a text or a boolean or an error message, count A function will count that cell. So here suppose in this cell, if I type my function as count A and provide my cell reference or range and if I hit enter, now the result is coming out to be 6. Why? Because count A function is counting every cell which contain any kind of value. Suppose uh, by mistake, or if uh, in any case this cell doesn't contain any value, suppose if I delete this one, then you can see that the result is changed to 5 now. Instead of 6, it is showing me 5. Uh, let me undo my action, then I have text there, then result again go back to 6. So count a function is counting the number of non-blank cells or non-empty cells. Then we have count blank. Suppose you want to only count total number of cells which doesn't have any value. So how you can do that? You have a function named as count blank for this. So this is my range and you can see that there are uh, six cells out of these six, two are empty, right? So if I type here, my function is count. If I start typing count, then you can see that all the functions that starts with count appear here. If you want to quickly go to count black, so instead of typing, typing full uh, formula or complete spelling, you can just start typing count and with your uh, arrow keys, you can come to count blank and then if you press tab from your keyboard, then Excel will automatically select that function. So now I need to provide the cell range, then close the bracket and if I hit enter, what will happen is it is showing me the result as 2. Why? Because there are only two cells which doesn't have any value. So count blank will count only cells that doesn't have any value or they are empty. Suppose if this cell, uh, or if I delete the value inside this cell, what will happen is the result will uh, change to 3. Now because there are 3 cells which are empty. So let me undo my action. Now result is again 2. Now then we have a function which is widely used which is count if. So count if uh, by name it suggests that it will count the value or cell only there is a if, if we provide a condition. Suppose we have data over here 
देर वी हैव एप्पल ऑरेंज पीचेज एंड एप्पल्स अगेन सो दीज कॉलम्स कंटेन्स नेम ऑफ फ्रूट्स राइट एंड दीज आर दी सम काइंड ऑफ वैल्यू सपोज देर आर थर्टी एप्पल्स फिफ्टी फाइव ऑरेंजेस एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट सो राइट नाउ इफ आई फोकस ऑन दीज सेल्स देन आई कैन सी दैट टू सेल्स कंटेन एप्पल्स एज इनपुट राइट एंड वन हैज ऑरेंजेस वन हैज पीचेज सपोज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ मेनी सेल्स कंटेन एप्पल एज इनपुट और एप्पल्स एज टेक्स सो हाउ आई कैन डू दैट सो आई कैन यूज माई फंक्शन एज काउंट इफ सो हेयर इन दिस सेल सपोज इफ आई टाइप माई फंक्शन एज इक्वस टू काउंट इफ नाउ इफ यू टाइप द फंक्शन देन एक्सेल विल टेल यू वट इट विल डू सो हियर इट इज रिटर्न देन काउंट्स द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स विद इन अ रेंज दैट मीट द गिवन कंडीशन सो हियर आई नीड टू प्रोवाइड अ कंडीशन सो इफ आई ओपन द ब्रैकेट now i can see the syntax so for first it is asking me for the range from where i want to actually uh, get the result so this is my range right so these four cells are my range now it is asking for the criteria so if you are going to type a text inside any function that you need to do in double quotes so i am looking for apples here so i will type in double quotes apples and then close the bracket now what will happen is excel will count every number of cell that contains input as apples if i hit enter then i will get the result as 2 right if i want to know how many peaches are there so i can or how many cells contain peaches as the input so i can just type my function as count if my cell range again and then here i can type peaches in double quotes or i can use cell reference so instead of writing peaches or apples again and again let me give the cell reference and for cell reference we don't need to provide it in double quotes and then close the bracket and if i hit enter then it is showing me value as 1 now what is the benefit of using cell reference if i change the value here suppose instead of peaches if i change it to oranges so the answer is not changing why because oranges is also one here so let me change it to apples now result has changed to 2 why because it is taking cell reference as input right so let me revert it back to peaches so answer is coming out to be 1 again so this is the benefit of using cell reference suppose if you change one of the apples here to <coughs> peaches what will happen because we are change, making changes inside our cell range or provided uh, range then if you look at the results they are changed to 1 and 2 now apples are 1 and peaches are 2 right so this is how you can use count if function which is very helpful actually then we have permutation and combination so permutation is an arrangement of objects uh, in a definite Uh, order right so this is a mathematical formula written over here so this is my mathematical equation n factorial by n minus k whole factorial so how i can use permutation inside my excel if you you have suppose total number of objects as 4 and number of objects in each permutation is 3 then i need to find the total number of permutations so if i am going to uh, calculate the value by using pen and paper that will take time but excel will calculate the total number of permutations very easily how here if i type my function as equals to p e r m u t then if i open the bracket then it is asking me for two things first is number and then numbers chosen so total number is 4 so i will give the cell reference as this one and then what is the total number chosen which is 3 so i just need to provide two information or need two values then close the bracket hit enter you will get your result as 24 so this is how you can use permutation inside excel and that is very quick right if you want to use combination so suppose we have given a uh, scenario 
where we need to find possible 2% teams that can be formed from 8 candidates. So if you have 8 number of candidates and you need to find the possible 2% teams or number of possible 2% two, uh, two team, so you need to use combination, right? So this is your equation, mathematical equation, n factorial divided by k factorial and then multiplied with n minus k factorial. This is your mathematical equation. But in uh, Excel, you need to type a combination function which is combin. So if I type my function as and open the bracket, it is again asking me for two things only, the number and the number chosen. So the number is 8, total number of person and number chosen is 2. So if I uh, type 2 here and then close the bracket and hit enter, then it is showing me 28 as my answer. So this is how you can use permutation and combination inside Excel. Very easy, very helpful. And these are all the functions as count, count if, count a, count blank. So these functions you are going to use very frequently and they are very easy to use. That's all for this video. Thank you.